Um, so, esteemed delegates, members of the press, speakers, sponsors, exhibitors, and our chairman for today, a very warm welcome to the World Chocolate Forum. Uh, this event is, uh, is bigger than last year, um, and we're still a small company. So, um, it's, it's been great, we've managed the whole thing, but not without help, a lot of help from our sponsors, uh, Barry Calibo, Cargill, and Bula. I'd like to thank you for your support right from the beginning when the first event, um, I don't know, I guess some of you will be at the first event, but we had it in a hotel, the air conditioning went wrong, the editor I had at times in the pub, but <clears throat> the whole thing went, but, but it didn't matter because we had your support at the beginning, you understood where we wanted to be so that you can all meet together and uh, as a community in the chocolate industry. Yeah, I think the world of chocolate is a very old category. Uh, there's a lot of things going on, but a lot of things still need to happen. Uh, as well, with respect to real innovations, uh, driving sustainability in a consumer-relevant way, and that is a common effort together of all of us. Uh, we need to collaborate more closely, and then we make the industry move. Then we make the consumer's world more joyful, which is at the heart of chocolate. So therefore we need to get together in such events like this. I think the program is uh, very well lined up. As I said, just said to Angus as well, I think the importance is that there are all different kinds of perspectives around coke and the world of coke. So having somebody who talks about the science, somebody who talks about sustainability, somebody who talks with passion like a chef, I think that makes it uh, an interesting event for all of us. For me the most important thing is that we help your brand uh, being fueled differently. Um, in the US there are indeed uh, potentially customers who will have the Coke Horizons Foundation logo on pack, but it's up to, to the brand. It's not that we say you need to have the logo on it. It's, we just want to create a platform which helps you to be sustainably uh, active and then translate it in a consumer relevant way. So it's not about having another logo on the pack, not, not at all. No, you have your logo, that's your brand basically. And we want to help you to fuel it. I really love to be here. I think the world of cocoa is about heritage, it's about the food of course, decades old, centuries old. So to be in the British Library, of course, with a lot of heritage, that makes me feel good. A uh, big uh, spider for Halloween, which was last year. And I love this one because I was home and I said to my son, he's seven, I said, well, I'll get you something for Virgin for Halloween. You tell me what I'm doing and I will do it. And he said, oh, you need to do it. Spider that we do a spider, so I created a chocolate spider, and he's really proud of this one, I have to say. <laughs> and I wrote a book called oh boy. <laughs> about macrobiotics, in which I uh, doesn't quite cover it, but I wrote if sugar dis were discovered yesterday, it would be banned and possibly handed over to the army for weapons research. So as I said, we were pretty hardcore on sugar. Today, just want to know how you think that the day is going, the event? Yeah, so far it's a great event for us, um, a lot of interesting customers and participants, so we are quite happy to be here and yeah. be a sponsor again. Um, and what's, what's your favourite part of the event? I think the favourite thing, or what's very interesting for us, is that so many people from the industry come together, not only our customers, but also competitors and um, uh, suppliers from the industry. And I think this is the most interesting uh, part to get in touch with them to uh, talk about. Uh, the industry, etc. Um, yeah, today we're talking about tablets. We will have a tasting of chocolate tablets, but uh, today it's not just tablets important for Bühler. We today signed, or yesterday signed, the contract to buy Hosokawa Bapex. Uh, Hosokawa is a huge addition to Bühler because the enrobing lines and the tempering, we haven't had this before. Uh, now uh, it's really something great for us to have both Hosokawa in the Bühler company. So this is a big news and also the reason why Thomas is not in London at the moment. <laughs> and is there anything particular about the World Chocolate Forum that appeals to you? Yeah, for sure the World of Chocolate. <laughs> this is something we are Bühler. We are usually we are machine suppliers, so we are not that much in chocolate, but uh, our machines are producing chocolate for us. It's 
for sure. Or for me, it's great to stay here. Yeah, I love the fun event. Chocolate, uh, <laughs> so it's, it's quite nice. Yeah. Trying chocolate all day. For that's sure. always a bonus. Yeah. Okay, it's your first time here. This it's year. my first time here. Yeah. Um, and what attracted you to the event? Well, basically, the list of speakers yeah. and um, certainly the changes in the world at this moment, certainly in the chocolate world. Uh, lots of ch challenges to be faced, uh, as we heard this morning as well. So, a bit looking how we face the challenges and how we see it and compare it a bit with the testimonials that we hear of other speakers and of other participants. I think you all enjoyed the chocolate because uh, it was, uh, we were a little bit over time. But uh, I will uh, try to, um, let's say, make my story uh, very clear. Can we just like a few words about today, really? How are you finding the event? Yeah, I'm, fi I'm finding a great event. Uh, I think it's a nice forum to have a lot of people of the chocolate uh, industry together. And not only for the speeches, but also to have the good networking and the breaks and the talks uh, and to learn from each other. Do you think there's opportunities to connect here with Always. the industry? Always, certainly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We have uh, you have different people here. You also we have your your food manufacturers, but you have also some retailers. So we have a lot of people from different perspectives, even um, uh, equipment manufacturers. Yeah. So a lot of people, interesting people. Yeah. So a lot of diversity. Diversity. <laughs> yes, that's the word. Yeah. And what's been your favourite part of the day so far? Well, I like the guy <laughs> of Goo, the chocolatier. Yeah, I love that one. gave such a beautiful, <laughs> uh, let's say, new product, yeah. uh, but also ideas that it's indeed the, ch the world is changing and innovation is key in our industry. What do you think um, makes World Chocolate Forum so special? So special because uh, I think it's the only forum in, uh, in Europe where you have uh, that a lot of people together uh, for a whole day and that you also share the insights with the speech and that you have the networking so it's a uh, yeah and the whole confectionery market is here. Yeah. What's your sort of favorite thing about World Chocolate Forum? What do you think makes it special? Well it's always interesting I came to the first one a couple of years ago and this time I was invited by Angus to, well, to be uh, well to, to have one of the papers and it uh, has been a pleasure really for me to, to, to come and to share our experience, our story with, with such a fantastic uh, uh, auditorium. And it's always interesting because there are different stories, different experiences from the production, from the consumption. It's quite interesting and, and always a pleasure to come to London. We've learned a lot, we always learn a lot when we come to uh, uh, this conference and it's great to be able to participate and we're very thankful for being able to, to do that and we've learnt and I hope other people have learnt from us and that's what it's all about. Thank you um, to Kennedy, thank you to Angus and all, all the staff for a wonderful um, conference, uh, some inspirational speakers and um, it's been a great day, thank you very much.